Hello everyone. The CCI or the Commodity Channel Index Oscillator was developed by Donald Lambert. This indicator gives us an indication of train change and also the momentum within the train. CCI is an unbounded indicator that is no theoretical upper or lower limit of the CCI value. It fluctuates around the zero line with a region below minus 100 recognized as the oversold region and minus 100 to 100 recognized as the normal region. Above 100 is known as the overbought region. For practical purpose, the zero line in the CCI is the marker between the bull and the bear territory. In a deep correction, the CCI of a stock would go below minus 100. And now, if a bullish reversal takes place, CCI of the stock moves above the minus 100. And then, as the bullishness increases, the CCI eventually goes above the zero. And eventually, if the bullishness gain in momentum, the CCI eventually crosses the plus 100 level. Now, when a bearish reversal of this move takes place, the CCI again moves below the plus 100 line and then the zero and the minus 100 in the sequence. When a stock is having a CCI above plus 100, the stock is in the super bullish territory. If the price action is positive, and someone should just ride the uptrend and wait for the CCI to breach minus 100 to exit his long position. However, if CCI moves back below plus 100 line with a simultaneous bearish reversal pattern spotted in the chart, someone should take a reversal sell trade with a stop loss. Similarly, if a stock has CCI below minus 100, then it is considered to be in the super bearish territory. And if we observe that the price action is bearish, we should take short trade in the stock with the stop loss and exit the trade when the stop loss is hit or the CCI eventually breaches plus 100. However, if the CCI moves back above the minus 100 line with a simultaneous bullish reversal pattern spotted in the chart, someone should take a reversal buy trade with a stop loss. Now, to tell you how you can use the CCI in real market scenario, we classify markets in different categories. First, the runaway up and the down moves. In runaway moves, there are hardly any significant corrective counter moves. In the case of a runaway up move, we find that after the CCI crossed the minus 100, zero and plus 100 levels consecutively, there are hardly any pullbacks below the minus 100 level. Rather, on the minor consolidation and corrections, the CCI comes close to the zero level and then again moves back above the plus 100. Hence, for a runaway up move, we first buy a stock when minus 100 in the CCI is crossed, add more when the CCI crosses the zero, add a little bit more when the CCI crosses the plus 100. If we observe that the CCI bottoming out around the zero level in those pullbacks, then this pullbacks are potential buying opportunities. Similarly, in the case of a runaway down move, we find that the CCI crossing the plus 100, zero and minus 100 level consecutively. There are hardly any pullbacks above the plus 100 level. Rather, on minor consolidations, and corrections, that is corrective pullback, the CCI comes close to zero and then again moves back below minus 100. Hence, for a runaway down move, we first short a stock when the plus 100 in the CCI is crossed and add more when the CCI crosses zero and add a little bit more when the CCI crosses the minus 100. If we observe that the CCI getting resisted around the zero level, when the pullbacks are happening, then these pullbacks are potential selling opportunities. Now, after the runaway moves, 
we talk about the steady up and down moves this move see deep corrective counter moves in between unlike the runaway moves in case of steady up move deep corrections in case of down moves deep pullbacks happen hence we look to play both the directional moves and the counter corrective moves in the case of a steady up move we buy a stock when the cci crosses a minus 100 we add more when the zero level is crossed add a little bit when the cci crosses the plus 100 and we exit the entire long position when cci falls below the plus 100 level we can take the counter sell trades when the cci falls below the plus 100 and exit with a fixed profit target or when the cci goes below the minus 100 in the case of a steady down move we short a stock when the cci crosses the plus 100 we add more when the cci cross the zero level from upside and add a little bit more when cci crosses the minus 100 we exit the long position when the cci bounces above the minus 100 we can take counter buy trades in this kind of moves when the cci rises above the minus 100 and exit with a fixed profit target or when the cci goes above the plus 100 level we should be a little cautious with playing this kind of counter moves as they may reverse anytime quite abruptly now the third kind of market the third kind of market is the range bound market in which the cci fluctuates around the plus 100 and minus 100 levels and at rare occasions they go beyond these boundaries also the price remains in the range we should take a reversal trades when we see that the price is near the upper or the lower end of the range and the cci is turning around from the boundary regions that is plus 100 and minus 100 regions we should book profits when the price reaches towards the other end of the range this range bound variety of market is the toughest one to trade normally making money in a range bound market is a little difficult finally we should maintain a stop loss for each and every trade that we take now you may be wondering that how you may filter out the stocks based on the cci crossing minus 100 zero or plus 100 from up or the downside but you don't need to worry about that in the stockage app in the scan section you get all the updated data at the end of the day in the technical scan section under the cci scans also these are very basics about the cci we have lot of lot more to cover and that's why we have designed an advanced technical analysis course for you where you will find much more about this indicator and various other aspects of technical analysis this link is available in the section below if you want to apply technical analysis effectively in your analysis you may subscribe to this course thank you very much